Hey, John Falstrom here again. Uh, I'm doing a series on the modal system because of how important I think it is. And this is going to be a little in depth. Uh, today is May 6, 2016. We're at uh, a location, an EADG4 headquarters. Uh, I am the author of EADG4, the book. And it's a theory textbook. And uh, I'm about uh, 40 minutes south of the Chicago's Loop right now and the Mighty Soldier Field. And I am on the Aeolian mode now. It's mode number six. I've done, I've done five videos. Actually, I'm going to do them all in one day. It turns out it's May 6, 2016. We're in the key of A. I chose A because it's got three sharps, F, C, and G, which means you don't, you cannot be, especially if you want to learn theory, you cannot shy away from sharps or flats. you got to make them really close to you. They're just as important as natural notes. So I used A because it's got, like again, three sharps, okay? I've done A, Ionian, B, Dorian, C sharp, Phrygian, D, Lydian, E, Mixlydian. Now we're going on to the sixth mode. The Aeolian, also known as the natural minor scale, the key. Now, the Aeolian is the sixth mode. In the key of A, let's see where the sixth note is. So it's the sixth note in A. I'm gonna, I choose this A, the most common finger pattern, probably most used A on the bass, right in the middle, E5. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the sixth note, it's F sharp. Okay. We play the Aeolian mode, or the natural minor scale, same thing, on the sixth chord. The F sharp will turn into a chord in a song. Not every song, but when it is, when you go to a sixth chord, it's going to be a minor chord. And if, to improvise, you play the Aeolian mode. Why do you play the Aeolian mode? Let me show you. Key of A has three sharps. I'm going to go down to my F sharp. I'm going to take it. Now, you can use any F sharp on your bass, and you want to know all your F sharps. You, know, you want to know your notes. I'm going to take this F sharp. We'll just drop it down an octave to this F sharp. There's no F sharp that's better sounding. It's up to you as the musician, as the bass player. This is like you got to drive this, 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 this car, this bass. I'm going to choose this F sharp down here. Same thing. So this is going to be F sharp Aeolian, and I'll show you the scale. I'll show you the finger pattern. This is the most common. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. F sharp, G sharp, A. It's called a root, second, minor third, flat third. The flat means, the f minor third means the flat put in front of it means it's a half step lower than the major third. A. Major third is A sharp. Minor third is A, so we call it a flat third, flat from the major third. B is the perfect fourth, C sharp right here is the fifth perfect fifth, minor six, D, or the flat six because it's a half step lower than the major six. Here's the minor seventh, flat seven because it's a half step lower than the major seven. That's all. It happens to be an E natural and the octave or root. Call your, think of your octave eight as the root again because you just go right up again with that scale, the F sharp. I'll show you, slow that down in a second. So what we want to do band plays an F sharp minor in the key of A. We know it's a sixth chord. When you go to a sixth chord, a minor sixth chord, you play the Aeolian mode. That's what you improvise on. There's a reason for it. Because the notes will keep you in the key of A. A has three sharps, F, C, and G. I bet, let's see if F sharp uh, minor has those three notes. F sharp, G sharp, right there. We got two of the sharps. A natural, B, and there's your C sharp. D, E, and F sharp. So this has the same notes as A. So we would jam on an F sharp minor scale. Walk a bass line or do nothing. Again, it's up to you as the bass player. So what we want to do is we want to get to know this F sharp minor scale all over the bass. Use the whole feel to play. Work on this if you can. Obviously, it, it's this is pretty good theory, pretty high level. Uh, so let me show you. We do this. We'll do it. Well, let me show you a different finger pad. We'll go one, one, two, four. One, two, two, four. It's the same notes. Root, two, flat, three, four. So we're taking the B, the perfect fourth, and we're going to move it up here to this B. We want to see that this is the fourth here. Same note. It's your choice. Your choice, we want to play. Okay? Fifth stays the same. 
Now you got your minor six right here. It looks a little different because you're using a different finger. Before we played it like here. Now we're playing it with our middle finger. We're taking that E from the original finger pattern and we're gonna put it right there. A double or a unison. This E is the same pitch as that E. But again, this E is a little darker sounding because it's on a thicker string and the string is shorter from your plucky. This is a longer string, thinner string. See that? There's your E here. There's your E there. A little darker. See, that's what gives you that. Uh, this is how you become an original bass player. Get your own sound. Just a little stuff like this. Just the little things. You want to play the E there. You want to play the E here in a bass line. You know, you play like this. Or you want to play the other. Or you want to make the C sharp a little darker, you put it here. See, this is what how you become the original. You get your own sound. Total confidence in what you're playing because you know that the notes you're going to use are an F sharp minor because it keeps you in the key of A. We're still in the key of A major when an F sharp minor chord. We've got to get to the chord. It's a roll of a bass player. You've got to lay on that F sharp. You've got to dominate the chord. You want to dominate the key. Think of your F sharp as the root because what happens is your bass lines have got to develop from the root of the chord, not the key. That's a bass, bass player, the history of the bass. You see, this is the root, and these notes are in the minor scale. You can do whatever you want. No. Take that F sharp. No. Right here. You got an old F sharp here. You got the lower octave here, so you got your F sharp minor scale up there. Play it up here if you want. Again, it's your choice. Let's take the F sharp here, this one here, right down the horn. Okay, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, same notes. All day long, six chord, Aeolian mode gets played on the six chord in a song. Any key, all major keys. Example, we go down the key of G, G major, we're now in key of G major. E is a 6, that's an E, so I'll play E minor. See, you play the, the minor scale or the Aeolian mode, same thing, uh, on E. We'll go back to A now. There's your F sharp. Here's another finger pattern. Uh, we'll go, uh, we'll take the F sharp here. Don't be afraid to use your little finger, you gotta develop that little finger and play the minor scale vertically, going across the board. So we got root, two, three, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, eight. Back up, whatever you want. There's no... Okay? That's a scale in thirds. This is just improvisation off the scale. Do scale patterns. Do a lot of scale patterns. It's in my book, EADG4. I got tons of scale patterns, and it revolves around the modal system, chords. It's a theory textbook. It explains all this leading up to it. Things you want to know or have to know to be able to do this. If you like the way you're playing now, that's fine. Again, it depends on where you want to go with your bass playing. I wanted to go as uh, high as far as I can go. So I played all these different styles of music and realized I got to learn a bunch of stuff. And I wanted to do it. It was, it was exciting to learn new stuff. And uh, it's paid off big time. You can have co complete control of every song you play uh, by knowing this stuff. And it, it's, it's, it's not, it, you got to practice. It's, it's a great journey while you do it. You, you come up with your own style. Uh, Double octave minor scale. Double octave scales, you kind of want to know because it takes you up horizontally. This is horizontally up the bass. Uh, we'll go same scale. We'll just do an F sharp uh, Aeolian, natural minor scale. We'll go one, one, two, four, four, one, two, two, four. Now I'm on F sharp again. I'm on the root. I'm going to go G sharp, A, which is the second flat third. B, here's my perfect fourth. Here's my perfect fifth right there. Okay, let's see, we got the flat six coming here, flat seven, and there's your octave. C sharp, 
perfect fit. Every C sharp on your bass is the perfect fit. You decide where to play it. You decide. There's the, there's the fifth right there. That's a C sharp. You want it there? Go for it. Here it is right here in the scale. The little, the, the, your, your traditional scale patterns, which this is the most traditional for minor, this is a, like a readout. This tells you, okay, C sharp's the fifth. Every C sharp on your bass, you play as the fifth. Just like every F sharp is the root. Depends where you want to play it. B is the perfect fourth. Fourth note in the scale. I'll play B here. It's the fourth. Same thing. E, one note. My E is my minor seventh. I'll use the open E. I'll use this C. Here's the F sharp again up here. That's a minor seventh. You play it up here. F sharp E. Or play it down here. F sharp D. It's up to you. Again, as the bass player. You're driving this. Okay. The Aeolian mode. Huge. All modes are huge. Um, it's now the, we call it the natural minor scale. It's a key. Relative minor. F sharp to A. Three sharps. Play it on the six minor six chord. No matter what key, no matter what song. All right. Today is May 6, 2016. John Falstrom with my buddy Dave Taylor. We're back. We haven't done a lesson video in about two years, but we've been busy uh, with the ADG4 and other things, but uh, time to get uh, serious with the modal system and break it down and the importance of it. All right, until that next time, I'm going to do one more, uh, the last mode, the Locrian mode, and uh, I'll be good. All right, thanks, guys. See ya.